Hello there, boys and girls of the Minecraft universe. Centronet here with another news update on the channel. We have a brand new beta for the Bedrock version of the game, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have 1.16.0.60, and I am live. I am in it right now. We're going to take a look at what they fixed in this beta. So this is a bug fix update. Dude, I love the new nether. This thing is epic. Oh, I haven't been in here before, so sorry if there was a little bit of lag there. I got a bunch of stuff running on my computer, and I have not been in this nether yet, so it had to do its generation magic. But look at this. This thing is amazing. All right, enough, 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 enough. Yes, we're excited about the nether update. I get that. Mr. Centronut, can you focus, please? Let's tell everybody what's in this update, shall we? All right, so here we are. We are in the Minecraft feedback site, and these are the release notes for 1.16.0.60, the beta that came out yesterday for the Bedrock version of the game. I'm gonna scroll past all this good stuff that tells you how to join and leave the beta, and we're gonna come right down here to the fixes. So, first up, crashes and stability, the reedy part. They fixed several graphics-related crashes. They fixed a bug where the game would crash if the player attempted to purchase coins without being signed into Xbox Live. And they fixed a crash that could occur when attempting to create a world with the zigzag resource pack applied. Moving on to graphics. The fancy leaves option now appears correctly in the settings menu on Windows 10. It, they fixed an issue where cube maps were not fully updating when resource packs were changed. Fixed a bug that could sometimes cause fonts to disappear after quitting to the main menu. They fix an issue with flickering usernames above players' heads. That'd be kind of weird. They <laughs> fix an issue where chunks would flicker after altering render distance values. I saw that one when I was testing the beta. They fix an issue where the missing textures were constantly being converted, which would cause the game to spam warnings in the log menu. This one I've seen because I'm messing around with new features that you can play with in packs in 1.16. All right, they've got some general fixes and they have the bug section linked as well. Running the slash kill command will now correctly kill summoned NPCs. And they set the default chat font to Mojangles. That's interesting. Marketplace fixes, they fix a bug where on some platforms, thumbnails would indefinitely load in the marketplace. I didn't see that and I was messing around in the marketplace a lot actually yesterday or two days ago now for the map review that I did for that really, really, really awesome lava block map. And then they fix an issue where the download bar was not always fully functioning. So that is the complete chain lo change log. Uh, with a change log like this where they're just focusing on fixing things that are in the game, there really isn't a whole lot for me to show you. So there was not gonna be some big fly around and new blocks and all that goodness. Today it's just bug fixes, which is a really good sign that they're focused on just making this release better. Because I don't know about you guys, I can't wait for the 1.16 update to come out. The Nether update is going to be awesome. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hopefully it was very informative for you. If you guys liked it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button down there. If you guys really loved it, make sure you subscribe if you're new. If you're not new, I love you guys. Thank you for always coming back. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. This is Centronet, and I'm out.